Hey, what's up, everybody? TJ, BHC Lead P here. I'm a pastor in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I make videos about the Bible, Bibles, and my everyday life as a pastor. Today, first off, before we even get started, I want to thank you guys. So we're up at 152 subscribers. I wanted to do something at 100, but once we hit 100, it was like a mad dash to 152. And I just want to thank you guys. Honestly, I never thought that I would break a hundred or even get to that mark so to have 152 man i'm just blown away i want to do a giveaway which would be the first one on the channel i just don't know what that looks like so if you have any ideas of what i should give away i've thought about giving away the esb study bible or sorry the esb student study bible which i posted a video and i'll post it up here or up here whichever side it shows up on um, i've thought about giving away another one of my bibles or just doing something totally different let me know in the comments what you think today I want to talk about what my everyday carry looks like, both because I'm a lead pastor and also because I'm a dad and there's things that go along with that. So let's jump into the video. So first off, to, to kind of get it out of the way, yes, I carry a cross body bag every day. This is the like good times. I, I don't even know what the branding is. It was an inexpensive sling bag that I found on Amazon that's canvas and looked a little better than just some janky other bags. So we'll get into what's in this bag and the things that I carry in this, which for some, yeah, it's way too much and there's too much going on. But for me and for what I do, plus having my daughter, it's perfect. But let's talk about what's in my pockets. So representing my phone is going to be my case, which is, so I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I just use this cheap. Uh, MagSafe compatible Walmart case that I found. It's clear. It gets a little dirty, but it works. And then I use some MagSafe accessories. In my car, I have a MagSafe mount. Um, and then I love this MagSafe pop socket. I, part of the things that I didn't like about pop sockets is like they had to stay on with this. When I don't feel like having a pop socket, just pop it off, throw it in my crossbody. We're good. So iPhone 13 Pro Max um, with that case is in my pocket at all times. In, in my pocket as well, I always have some type of knife. Now, here's what's weird. This Milwaukee Fastback 6-in-1, which is just a button press utility knife with a um, center drive screwdriver with a, two bits. It's a flathead and a Phillips head. This knife, which is $20, has replaced in my pocket every day the super nice knives that I have. And the reason is... I can just switch this blade out when it goes dull. And then for me, if I want to do a project, that tool has to be super readily accessible. At our house, we have a detached garage. So sometimes I'll admit to you, I'm a little too lazy to run to the garage and get a tool to do it. Most stuff around the house, I can get done with just these tools. Um, and then um, a couple other things that I do have around pretty regularly. Then in my left pocket, I always have this little Phoenix E12 with a hair tie around it. That hair tie comes in handy even if I'm teaching karate. That comes in handy when young ladies forget their hair ties. I have one just in my changing room, so I'll run and grab that. And then if my wife needs one, or I'll use it to connect to my glasses if I'm working on my car and I just need it. It has a low, mid, and high function. I mainly use it for the low. And I know I could just use the one on my phone, but this works better for more tasks than just a phone light. A phone light doesn't cast very far this stuff. So I always have a flashlight um, in case I need to look in the car for something or I drop something or whatever. So then I always have my glasses. I always wear a hat. This is a Misfits hat that I got from a softball tournament this weekend from the team we played. I love the pink, so I picked it up. I always have my cross necklace on. So I always make sure that I'm rocking that. Um, I've worn a cross necklace since I was a kid. And then I have an Apple Watch Series 3 on my wrist to track my steps, my workouts, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's all that's in my pockets. And I know you're like, where are your car keys? Where's all that kind of stuff? Well, that's where this bag comes in handy. Now, I will tell you that occasionally there will be car keys in my pocket, especially if I know that I'm going to be in and out of a place. But for the most part, they're in this bag right here so this bag has two pockets it has the main pocket that we'll go through first and then it has this front pocket right here so in the main pocket 
I have a couple different things and I like to be somewhat organized. So within this main pocket, it's kind of hard to see, but there's two, two back pockets. There's a middle, middle dump pocket. And then there's like another front dump pocket. So you can separate different things. So in the back two pockets, I have what I call my cigar kit. Occasionally I like to enjoy a cigar. So I have a kit with me just that has, um, so it has my torch in it, which is this cigar fishing auto Zippo with a butane insert back there as well is a little cigar punch. And then, um, in this, I have different, like this one's a regular guillotine cutter. I have a V cutter in here and I just utilize these cheap chums wallets for little pouches because they're easy. You can pick them up at, for 10 bucks at Walmart. And then you have all sorts of different like compartments you can put stuff in. Um, and so in that back pocket, I have my chums wallet with my cigar kit in it. Then I have this little bit driver that just has a bunch of different bits. Like I said, I carry around knives. And so this has a bunch of like T6, 8, and a 10. I think there's a T3 in here as well. So just little Torx bits so that I can work on a knife. If the pocket clip comes loose, if the knife comes loose, if a scale needs to be tightened. Um, and I know that it seems overkill, but I use these little drivers quite often to make sure that things are getting taken care of. In the back left portion, I have a... Um, MagSafe power bank um, and this is just a cheap one that I got from Target. It's 5,000 milliamps and it'll take my battery from almost dead to like 80% um, and I use this just as quick juice or if another one of my friends has an iPhone that is MagSafe compatible I'll just give this to them so they can use it real quick to just jump start their phone um, and so I have that. I do want to upgrade this to either an Anchor or the actual Apple one but we'll see. Um, I use it 50% of the time, but I always have it on me to make sure that I have that juice that I need. And then in that same pocket, I have this Chum's wallet, which is more pink and teal and more bright. If you can't tell, I know that I'm wearing a black shirt, but I love the color pink. It's one of my favorite colors. So in this, in this back pocket, I call this my little dad, dad pouch. Um, so in this front, like wh where you can see, I have just some different size band-aids in case my daughter gets cut and needs a band-aid. I'm going to switch these out to like some type of fun like Band-Aid brand because these are the Equate brand which are great Band-Aids but some fun like Princess or Paw Patrol or something Band-Aids just fun for my kid and then in this back one I have a Fisher Space Pen I don't even know what this one is it's like the compact so this is super small and literally just meant if I need to put something on a receipt um, again so I'm a passer I have to keep track of my receipts for tax purposes and so if I need to write what that was um, either for the church or for myself. I always have a pin on me. Um, and so that one's in the back. And then there's a little backup flashlight, which is the Olight E3 OS. It's just a turn into a light. Not super bright, but if I'm in like basketball shorts or whatever, I'm not going to want to throw anything in my pocket. And that's where this back pouch comes in. I have my pin, I have my light, and then I have a Victorinox Pioneer X that has a blade. It has scissors in it has the scissors it has an awl in it which i don't use the awl at all and then it has a little flat head with a bottle opener and a little phillips head with um, a can opener and the main thing that i have this that for is if i don't want to carry one of my other knives in my pocket boom just pull this out and i have one made sure that it's right there i'm gonna take that out because it's going to fall when i get into these pockets so then in the uh, back pocket of it, the first zipper pocket, I have just a singular dude wipe. You can go to Walmart and buy these packs of dude wipes. And so I have one of those. Um, I, I was doing that just kind of as a test. And if I needed to wash my hands, which it did help. We were changing some, uh, changing a transmission, or a transmission, sorry. We are changing a uh, radiator hose in my car. And it helped just to get the, um, cooling off of my hands but then they do come in handy for bathroom needs as well so in a pinch you're you're good to go then i have those band-aids in there and i also have some like alcohol prep pads in there just in case it's it's bad and needs one behind that i have another dude wipe so i have two of those and then i have these um like bc sticks um they're aspirin and uh, they're 845 milligrams 
or pain reliever with 65 milligrams of caffeine. Now, I don't know if you use these, but these BC sticks, the cherry ones are way better. This literally tastes like you crushed up a Tylenol and put it on your tongue, which is how you have to do it. Hold it there for a little bit, swallow it, drink some water. They're disgusting. But I'll tell you what, when I have a migraine, they work to help alleviate that so bad. As a, as a dad, as a full-time pastor, there's days you can't just take time and heal that migraine and, or headache or whatever. Boom, pop one of those, and I'm sitting right and like super fast. They're awesome. Then in the main dump pouch, I have a hanky. Um, handkerchief, which is this one specifically probably needs to be washed. We found out that my daughter does have allergies. Um, and so I have this on me at all times just to be able to wipe her nose, something soft to be able to help with that. And this one needs to be washed. I need to go get another one so that I can have a rotation of them. And I have my big set of church keys. So this set has almost every key to the church, both exterior and interior, as well as the gym keys to the gym that I teach at. Um, and so I have that set. And then I also have my car keys. I have the Gerber mullet that's kind of a, yeah, so it's meant to be like a belt loop. So I do put that on my belt loop if I know that I'm going to be in and out, in and out of my car. And I just have my car keys. I have a tile tracker that my wife got me for Christmas in case I lose my keys or I misplace my phone. Um, and then I have a little Victorinox SD Classic. The main reason I have this is to have the tweezers on me at all times as well as the toothpick. Now, the toothpick I don't normally use for my teeth, but I use if I need to get something out of, like, a phone speaker or something like that. That's kind of what that's there for. And then, of course, the keys and fobs to my little Subaru. Other things that this pack is huge. So, oftentimes, when I leave the house, if I know that I'm going to be quick, um, I have my daughter with me, I will take a diaper and a travel pack of wipes. I just have these huggy wipes. And then boom, put them in there. The hanky is normally in my back pocket, but the shorts that I have on today don't have a back pocket. So boom, there you go. You got your diaper, your your wipes. You're ready to go for if there's an emergency. So normally, again, I'm a dad. I got to carry that kind of stuff. So then I also have, instead of just a hanky, because if we have a big nose problem, boom, we grab a pack of tissues. Just these little travel packs of Kleenex, the on the goes. I throw one of these in here. I have them. If I need them, if my daughter needs them, even if someone else needs them, you never know when you're going to need a tissue. Then I have this um, Savannah Bee Company beeswax um, mint julep um, chapstick. My lips get chapped all the time, especially in the summer. And, and now I'm honestly even more so in the winter here. So I always have chapstick on me. That's from a really cool bee, com uh, bee company. It's from a um, honey company. In Boulder, Colorado, we went, I had to get some. I love beeswax chapstick. So then I have a money clip for my cash, and we'll explain why in a second. I always have a Beach Please punch card um, clipped into there because I go there all the time, get punches, and then just some cash. My wife and I, that's how we do our spending money, is in cash so that we're not just swiping, 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 but we're having to manage. And then I have my wallet. This is a custom-made leather wallet. Um, I can't totally remember... Um, the name of the company, but it's here local in Cheyenne and uh, she made me this wallet. It can carry six cards. I have my church cards and my IDs on the back and then I have my personal stuff up front and then it's got just a little guitar pick holder right there. So I always have a guitar pick on me and I I didn't design it, but I told her what I wanted. She designed it. I love it and it has patinaed so nice and looks so good. I just, I always, even if I try to change, I always end up going back to this wallet. I really love it. And then I think one of the most important things, if you're a pastor out there or you're just someone who, much like myself, um, your schedule, you create a lot of the time, these, like a little notebook is so good. And I go back and forth. While we were in Boulder, I went, they have a stationery store. I'm kind of a nerd about stationery. And they had these individual field notes. And last time I used field notes, they fell apart. I just had the little notebook in my pocket and I really wanted to use them. I'll tell you what, the paper's really good. They're cool little notebooks, and what I use them for is to-do lists. Um, so I'll, I try to write down eight things a day that I need to get done. I'll use it to write down emails or if I'm taking notes uh, for, like, how much cash I need to input. Um, I did um, some, like, like, we're looking for if it's worth upgrading at the church. Our, it is worth it, but if there's a better price point for our streaming, like, service, um, and then, but mainly this is used for to-do list things I need to do 
or I'll take notes um, for like YouTube videos where I need to put in links and stuff like that. So I always have this little notebook on me. I'll also use it for quick prayers or a reminder, like if I'm with somebody out and about and they ask me for prayer, I'll write that in here real quick. And so I always have that notebook in there. Man, I'll tell you what, that little notebook, I thought it was gonna be dumb writing down to-do lists, but it has helped me severely. And then in the front pocket, I have a microfiber cloth for my glasses. This one is nothing fancy. I don't really do anything fancy when it comes to hankies or anything like that. But it's just from Zenny, where it's just where I get my glasses. Every time you order a pair of glasses, they send you uh, your glasses in a glass case with a microfiber cloth. So I always have that in there because your glasses get jacked, and so you need to clean them. Normally in here, I would have glass cleaning wipes as well. I just don't have those right now. Then I have my AirPods. I always carry AirPods with me. Um, one, I listen to a lot of podcasts and a lot of music and a lot of YouTube videos. And so I carry AirPods with me. These ones actually need to be charged. Um, and then when you're in the store or whatever, boom, you have those ready to go. So then I have my pocket pen. So this pen is one that I just picked up, but I have it in a leather pen sleeve. I got the leather pen sleeve and this pen from Goulet Pen Company. They're a fountain pen company. Um, they're, I think their tagline is like where fountain pens are still a thing. And this is the Kuwaiko, um Sport. So it's just a little pocket pen. It's like a plastic material with a screw top. And then you can post it, and it's a good size pen just to write with. Um, and then, yes, you heard me right. It is a, a fountain pen with the nib. The reason I use fountain pens a lot over like ball points or anything like that is because my handwriting is atrocious. And part of the reason it's atrocious is because I go too fast. And so these force me to slow down. So I have that pen in my pocket at all times. It's inked up with a uh, Kaweco ink and I really love it. So it's been awesome. It's actually a cartridge. I normally use converters, but I wanna try this. I then have two challenge coins. The first one um, is a Liberty Baptist Church prayer coin. Um, Jim Zeke, their um, um, deceit, I hate to say that. Jim Zeke was a friend of mine, he was a mentor, and um, he passed away recently. And the church, his big thing was getting these coins into people's pockets so they remember to pray for each other. So um, if you would go somewhere and you didn't have your coin, it was kind of similar from like Air Force. If you're familiar with the military, you know what challenge coins are about. But this coin was specifically for men in the church to remember to pray for their church, pray for each other, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I have one. This is my third. I've lost one. Actually, I've lost two. I'm not quite sure how, um, but I got a I got a third one. And so that stays in the bag, trying to make sure that I don't lose that one because it's very, very special to me. And this is our church's. I've wanted to coin our own, but it's an expensive startup. So we found these whole Armor of God ones. And uh, so someone from the church, I told them my idea, they donated a bunch of these. Um, and so um, it says, put on the whole armor of God, pray always on the back. Woohoo, almost dropped it. And then on the front, it lists off the whole armor of God. And so our coins are meant, again, same thing. Men, when you reach in your pocket, you remember to pray for each other. You remember to pray for the church, all that kind of stuff. So I always carry that with me. And that is that. That is all that I carry on a daily basis every single day. Now I'm talking about when I go to the store, when I just run to go get coffee, whatever, this bag is coming with me. The stuff in my pockets is coming with me. Now I do have a full on bag that I carry with me as well, but this thing is for a whole different video. Listen, if you like the video, I pray, uh, please like, subscribe, um, share it, comment. Let me know, what do you carry every day? I know EDC is kind of like this weird tactical thing, but really everyday carry, everybody has an everyday carry. You may carry just your phone, wallet, and keys. That's it. That's your everyday carry. So what is the things that you carry every day? I know the question you're probably asking. You're a pastor. Why don't you carry a Bible every day? I have one right here at my home office. I have the one that I read through every day in that bag that I just showed you. We do have that. But um, So like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And again, thank you so much for 152 subscribers. That's crazy to me. I can't believe that. You all are awesome, and I hope that I can keep bringing you great content. I want you to remember the most important thing, aside from subscribers, liking the video, what you carry is that Jesus Christ loves you, and he died for you. And You guys have an amazing, amazing day.